Hey everyone, welcome to episode 7 of the Gradient Mesh video slash tutorial slash walkthrough. I am uh, once again saying that we are leaving off right off. I'm just going episode to episode, tail end to tail end. So every time we start a new video, it's exactly where we left off in the last one. And I am just continuing filling in this color. And once we're done, we're going to clean up all the streakiness and all the random color uh, changes that I aren't all the random color changes that aren't favorable we're going to get rid of and that's going to give us a much smoother look with all this geometry without looking crazy it's going to look really defined but also smooth and we're going to work it to the best that we can and i'm going to show you ways to get rid of these colors uh get well not get rid of these colors but get rid of the weird color changes kind of like you know uh, it's very obvious what i'm talking about when looking at this um, not including the lips, but I'm just going to finish in coloring this. So we're just going to do a lot of clicking and I'm just going to do some fast forwarding because, or unless I have something to say, I'll stop it. But here we go. I'm just going to get my eyedropper. We're just going to color. I'm just doing mass filling on the nose because I'm going to cover it up. So I just want to add some color just so I can, not, it's just so it's not white right now. All right, so that basically sums it up for filling up the color for the first time on the face layer, the, the main face layer. And for the most part, it looks fairly accurate except for all of our streaky and chunky and clunky problems. You know, you could see all these like lines that are projecting out color in a just very unordinary format. Um, there's just some random shades of color coming through like right here you have a darker stripe uh, Maybe this dark spot on the cheek should be a little bit smoother And you can see like all these harsh um, Lines and the idea is is that we are going to smooth that out and make it a more general blend using our current geometry 
because as you can see with the current geometry, although our color might be a little bit inaccurate because it's pixels that we're selecting rather than blended color, we are still selecting and creating the general shape of what, uh, that we made. So if we hide this layer behind our background, we can see there's pretty strong resemblance in the way that the color and light move across the face um, in relation to our original image. So what we're gonna start, I'm just gonna start down at the chin because that's just like the main area that I see a problem with. Is, you know, there's other areas, but I'm just gonna choose to start here. Um, so what we're gonna do to smooth this out a little bit, um, and we're gonna go really across multiple different types of lines, include, including all these um, points all tight down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little technique and we're gonna select, um, we're gonna go row by row. So we're gonna select the first point. We're gonna select our direct selection by hitting A on the keyboard and then eyedropper. So now when we hit control, we are bouncing back and forth between the eyedropper and the direct selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the first point and then I'm gonna go slightly to the right of that point and then I'm gonna select that color. And then I'm gonna do that for every point All right, so I, I apologize in advance, but I did not record a little bit of my chin correction. I still have the old layer, so what I'm gonna do uh, and show you what I've done so far. So if you look at the chin right now, as opposed to, ready? Before, after. Oh, after, what the hell? Oh, ready? Before, after, before, after. And you can really see how much we need to correct the color blend but we really aren't we haven't changed the geometry at all and you can see we're really working the smoothness out on the face and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the back and forth technique on some of these lines up here um and we are going to just keep working our color because it's not there yet it's not perfect yet it's almost ready to be put aside and i can almost start working on other parts of the face So because I skipped it by accident, what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go over what I did. So I had a lot of these streaks before. I had a lot of these random color splotches. So what I was doing is I would be selecting multiple points next to each other that are really close and I'll be combining, I'll be using the same color. So I'll select three of them like this or something like that. And then I'll select them all at once and eyedropper them all at once. And then that's just one technique to start blending um, color a lot easier. But another main method that I'd like to just do right here and show you is that there, we can go back and forth between points when we're eye dropping. So when we want to blend, what we can do is we can grab what uh, we want to go row by row. You can really start by to the end, but right now I'm just going to start right here. But we're going to do a little back and forth technique and I'll show you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this point and then we're going to take the eyedropper and we're going to go a little bit to the right of it and we're going to select the color about in the middle to the right of every point on that horizontal row. And what that's going to do, it's going to give our color a little bit better blending between each middle. So we're selecting the color, the blended color between the, uh, the points, the left and right points. So I'm gonna stop about right there. And I'm gonna go on that same line and then I'm going to go back the other way just to the left. I'm just gonna do the same thing just to the left of the points. It's kind of hard to see when points are kind of, when, uh, when they are clustered this close, but you can see it changing right now. All right, so I like it about right there still a big difference from what I started with and this is how much correction we have to do and I think we still have a little bit of color randomness so what I'm going to do I think over here I'm going to try and get rid of this dark spot I think that looks good I think I don't like how there's this red gray tone from the lips probably wouldn't be there 
This is for the lending of the actual of lip layer that we're going to put above that. So I'm going to combine some color. I'm going to grab a few points over here. I'm just going to match some color. So you can see what I'm doing here, right? I'm working the color around its area to match other points near it because we don't want too much variation next to each other. That's not what a face looks like. You don't see these random circles of color appearing all over the place. It seems it's very smooth. We always want to be zooming out and looking from a far away. That's going to give a really good resemblance of what we're looking at. It's kind of hard to see up close what you're looking at. Okay, so we're just continuing here. I'm just going to work my way up the face. I'm just going to randomly start correcting, but we're going to be utilizing this technique that we've been working with as well as doing multiple selection point filling that we've talked about and matching color in areas that is very close in proximity because if we have too many small color variations in a small area you're gonna see little polka dots of color so I'm just gonna keep cross blending here So we're continuing to smooth out the rest of the face. I don't like this small little highlight right here. I'm going to find it and hunt it down. I think I'm pretty much got it there. This is a little harsh, but I actually kind of like it. It really adds definition to the face. really got rid of that variation right there. You can even see the line right here of where it gets kind of harsh versus, you know, you can see under the chin that we fix and even all the way up here and all right here is perfect right now. And we're just gonna keep working up the face. So if we zoom out here, we could really see we're doing a number on the sloppiness that we had before. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna hide our new layer and look at that, big difference. And it really looks good down there and it's really starting to come together. And this is why patience and the tedium, where the tedium comes in, it's really important to understand that this is gonna take some time. And if you're not willing to make these corrections, it's gonna be very hard for you to be good at this really I mean you have to sit here and be able to look at your work and be like okay it's I spent so much time on this it looks good but it's just it looks sloppy or I need to check this or I need to move these points or I need to fix these lines so you know there's a lot of you have to 
get the you have to get the you have to get that eye you know you have to put in the practice you can't you can you know watch this video and if you're not doing it or trying it you might think you know how to do it but you know it's taking that mistake and then watching the video again and then making the mistake and then watching the video again until you can actually see exactly where you're not following me or you know wh whatever the case may be what's holding you back you know it's gonna it took me many times to get this right it took me I had to fail watch something and I have to I just kept watching the same thing over and over again until I really got the idea I try it fail it try it fail it until it worked and now you know here we are now um, able to see and able to do these types of drawings and it helps commercially I help I can draw products I can draw really anything again like I could draw a keyboard and everything would look regal and they're like oh my god that's not a keyboard I can blow that up as large as I want because now it's a realistic drawing when and as a photo it's not always like that and it, it's a, just a different look and it's also an applicable skill so thank you for following along and we're going to continue fixing this um, face blending in the next episode I believe that is episode 8 yep episode 8 and thank you for watching my name is Mark Dematti and Follow me on Instagram at marked, M-A-R-K-D underscore arts, A-R-T-S. And thank you for watching again. And I'll see you on the next one.